Working with switches on the Pico and Pico 2 is straightforward. We too have to avoid that RP2350 bug, but I can show you how to do that. Let me show you how. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, Pico 2, robotics, IoT, and other fun tech. Remember to subscribe and join the community. This is my three minute summary of using switches with the Pico 2. If you have time, why not check out the full video? Switches come in lots of varieties. In this video, I'm focusing on momentary switches in a single pole and single throw model. I'm going to take the simplest approach to the hardware and connect one side of the switch to ground and the other side directly to the GPIO pad on the Pico 2. Now you might realize that this is great when the switch is pressed as the GPIO pad is clearly low. But when not pressed, the GPIO pad might actually be floating around because we've not actually connected it to it. We have to pull the pad up to a high level. Though we could do this with an external resistor, actually we'll use a function within the Pico 2 to do that for us. It is also possible to connect switches using a pull down pattern on the GPIO lines. But that exposes us to the RP2350's bug, so I'll avoid that here. I'm going to implement a latch switch, i.e. turn on an LED when the switch is first pressed, then turn it on when it is subsequently pressed. I'll take two strategies to do that. The first, to pull the switch. This means that our main routine is constantly calling a pull function to check switch status. The second approach I'll use is, to, is called an interrupt, where I'm going to ask the processor to trigger a callback function when the GPIO line falls from high to low. In both examples, I will need to suppress some bouncing of the switch. Switches are mechanical and don't give clean edges when pressed and released. They bounce. So we will suppress this by making sure it has been at least 200 milliseconds since the last press. Using both strategies, the Pico 2 will be able to latch the LED as you can see here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please do hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video.